16 now and we're talking health news. OK, it's making headlines this week. Vaping could be to blame for more than 100 severe lung illnesses across the country. One of the cases here in North Texas and the numbers are on the rise. Dr. Sharice Wiley with Baylor Scott and White is here to talk about the health risks of vaping and what teens, their parents especially should know. Good morning, doctor. Good so morning. let's get into it. Let's get specific. What kind of illnesses are we seeing related to vaping? So, yes, yeah, so I'll start with giving our audience an explanation. So mm -hmm. vaping occurs or so it's the act of inhaling and exhaling vapor produced by heated nicotine, THC, and as we'll see, other chemicals. Mm -hmm. This is used in an e-cigarette or some type of vaping device. Now, while you know vaping has very harmful side effects, these more serious side effects that we're now seeing has to do with their effect or the damage of vaping to the lungs mm. and the cardiovascular system. We're seeing more than 100 people most recently that have been affected from vaping. Some of the symptoms that the young people and um, teenagers will produce or some of the symptoms that they will display are chest pressure. They may have fever, cough, and shortness of breath. These symptoms can quickly worsen due to the lung wow. damage and they can require hospitalization and even mechanical ventilation. They need help breathing because their lungs are so damaged. This is really a serious. It's a huge issue. Yes. And you know, when I think about these e-cigarettes, the mm -hmm. vaping, and it seemed to be offered to the market as a healthier alternative mm -hmm. when it comes to smoking, but it's proving to not be the case here when we see that's these right. sorts of serious illnesses. Yes, that's right. You know, initially e-cigarettes were, you know, marketed to help people mm -hmm. quit smoking. Yeah, we but as we that. know, they're now, it seems that, you know, young adults and teenagers are being more attracted to them because mm -hmm. of the different flavors and the different colors. They marketed specifically yes, to them. Yes, yes. And so initially the product that was used in e-cigarettes and vaping was nicotine. And of course, nicotine on a young adult and with a teenager, there are very harmful side effects. It can affect their brains, especially because their brains are still developing. Mm -hmm. It can cause trouble with attention. And most importantly, they can have trouble with addiction down the line because they're starting so early. But that's not the active ingredient that's causing all of these severe symptoms mm -hmm. that we're seeing that's related to the lung. It's believed that there's a contaminant that's sold on the street in the form of THC, you know, like a, 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 a cannabis mm -hmm. sort of ingredient. That's what they think that they're getting but they're actually harmful chemicals that are being emitted when they vape and that's what's causing the severe lung damage and and different you know How reactions fast does this happen? it it can happen you know fast you know it, it, even on the first time wow. you can be affected because you really don't know what you're getting when you buy products on the street you know so this so is scary. very serious yes so what can someone do to reduce this risk of i mean harming your lungs i mean I think it's obvious I yes. mean, you have to stop vaping, of course, but of course, what else is there? You know, the, the main thing or the important thing, I have two teenagers and the first thing that I had to do was to educate myself. So I think the most important thing is for parents to educate themselves about vaping so that you'll know what your teenagers are possibly being introduced to or what's, you mm -hmm. know, what's the fad and then sit down with the teenagers, have a clear cut, you know, conversation with them, tell them, um, you know, what things they can expect. This is very serious. And, you know, some people, unfortunately, they may know that their children are vaping and they may already be addicted. And, you know, so you want to let them know, you know, that that there is help. They can speak with their pediatrician. But the most important thing that you can stress as parents is say no to drugs like that no theme drugs. never goes away Always. and get help for your teenager if they already are vaping. This is heartbreaking. It's very sad. It is in the videos yes. that you've seen them. Yes. Very traumatic, very scarring. Thank you so much. Thank Dr. you. Wiley. It's always great having you here. This is Dr. Sharice Wiley, Baylor Scott and White. Thank you.